The CMY Arts Project is celebrating their three-year anniversary by hosting a music creation festival to continue to help under-resourced kids get a taste of the arts, too. New Channel 9's Victoria Kellogg sees how this fully funded organization is spreading creativity all across Syracuse. Warm hats and snow. Lights, camera, action. Three words the Boys and Girls Club hear weekly. Something that Caprice wished she had access to when she was little. So I grew up in the Syracuse area and I was one of those under-resourced children who didn't have access to fine arts, you know, because my mom was a single parent, so uh, we didn't have access to, like, the fine arts. It's a place where she can help the youth while helping herself. Every time I go in and I'm, I actually do art with them, I don't just go there and teach them. I actually do it, and every time I do it, it's healing uh, the inner child in me. For the past few months, both kids and adults are banding together to create an album featuring those who know the 315 best. It's people. We pre-produced all this music, and then since we've been in Syracuse, we've been working with people from across the state. Right in the heart of Syracuse, students are able to sing, act, dance, learn how to use a camera, and paint all at a free cost. But what they are taught most importantly from the start is that they are artists. I can be anything. And so many times we are forced as humans, or we feel like we're forced to make a decision about what type of person I am. And so we're telling these children, these hundreds of children that we interact with every week, we're telling them you can be anything. A chance for everyone to find their calling. In Syracuse, Victoria Kellogg, really News Channel 9.